very quick introduction about me for those who don't know me yet. Um, yeah, uh, Markus Meller, Microsoft 365 developer expert and MVP for the topic, working for Avanat in Germany. Um, if you have questions, ping me on Twitter or comment one of my blog posts. Today, I want to demo you a personal Teams tab, although this is also working as a configurable one, um, and then upload some files with a picker or with drag and drop, and then convert them either to PDF, HTML, or JPEG, which is depending, of course, on the source, because, of course, you cannot convert every file to every target. Therefore, we have to step over to Microsoft Teams and kick off our application. There we are. What we see first is a small toggle. Um, I will come to that later. Then we have a, a drop file zone, and we have a, an option how we can convert our files. And depending on what we want to do is we have some supported file types. Yeah, For HTML, that are not that much. So we will skip this for today. Uh, for JPEG, there's a lot of, yeah, and you might wonder even for some of them how to do that or how it's going to do. It's not working for everyone. I haven't tested all of them, of course, <laughs> but uh, I have tested some where I was really curious and then did not really find an output. So uh, I think uh, still some way to go to get this finally done. And by the way, except PDF, everything is still in beta. What we need, of course, come on. Um, we need a file, and here we have a PDF as a target. And what uh, what is better to convert uh, to PDF? There's a Word document, for instance. Yeah, we drag this on the drop zone. File is uploading and converting, and there we have a link to the target one. Yeah, I also prepared this here in my root site, in the document file, press F5, and there we have our document to PDF. Yeah, um, but, uh, check this, but let's trust this is the really one. Um, what we can additionally do, because uh, drag and drop is a really cool version, uh, is a really cool function, but it's not really accessible, we can also switch to a uh, File upload, simple file upload input control. And there we can also upload maybe document number one. Upload it. And here we are, document number one. There it is. Let's finally try this also with a picture. Therefore, I prepared a test image with some bombies here. This is, by the way, you can see this is a PNG file with uh, more than five megabyte in size. No problem for me because I'm, um, of course, doing a resumable upload in that case because you might know that with Graph you cannot upload files more than uh, four megabyte in one step. Takes a while. And there we are. With our target, we can also open it here. Finally, have our Bambis here. And that's it, how this works. Yeah, But in detail, how does this work or how is the functionality ongoing? Let's first have a look what we have to do to get this running. Because the problem is we are starting on client side. And the file conversion is taking place on a download of a file. So first, we have to upload something. So what we are doing is we are uploading the source file, like the document, for instance, to a temporary folder in our OneDrive, in our personal OneDrive. And then immediately, we are going to download that once again, but here with the file conversion of PDF. This is going back to our client, but not really to our client, not to our browser anymore, but only to our web app because, because everything from up to here takes place in the backend, of course. And then the Azure Web App backend 
uploads finally the downloaded PDF file to our target location, which can be in SharePoint Teams, wherever. Yeah, uh, you've seen what I was doing, uh, was doing uploading it in my uh, root site collection. And why I was doing that, I will show you on one of the next slides. This was the process. Here, yeah, once again, um, the converting formats. And here you might detect uh, the first one, which is a GLB file. Never heard of that uh, before. I had to, I had to Google that. In date, yeah, this is a, a three-dimensional file option, mostly used by Paint 3D. Yeah, so I was not aware of that. I did not realize this in code, but it should be easily extendable because uh, most of the stuff is already there. If you have a need for that, pick the sample, update it to your needs. What I was already mentioning is the graph endpoint. The graph endpoint for a file conversion, exactly for a format during the download, is still in beta except the PDF format. So I was using in my sample because I was not able to uh, use uh, the graph uh, 5 SDK, which makes it quite easy to mix uh, beta and version 1 endpoints. I was using a HTTP client version, so I was directly dealing with the rest endpoints because in the graph SDK version 5, the format option is still not working. Yeah, and in the past, it was always a good, uh, good, uh, let me call it workaround to mix beta and uh, version 1 endpoints by simply using the HTTP client endpoint. This about the graph endpoint. The next one about the file pick options. Yeah, you have seen the drag and drop zone, which is realized here in HTML with uh, a lot of uh, functions in there. But as an alternative, so if the fluent uh, switch above um, is to part putting the show upload to a true, then we have a simple input of type file. This is what you have seen by browsing. Uh, for a file which is more accessible, of course, than the drag and drop zone. And I know what I'm talking about because I'm also a bit disabled and not that fast with the mouse anymore. Here, are the upload toggle again. You see here a lot of uh, functions. So you might think, uh, this, by the way, this uh, sample is realized with Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio, but with an older version, it was 17.4, I think. Um, that it was not that mature, that I was not using JS Interop together with Blader, so I was still using good plain old JavaScript. Um, with the recent uh, mentioned, uh, some, uh, with the recent mentioned update by John a few minutes ago to 17.7, it's much much better, and I'm coming up with another sample very soon. It's already available in my GitHub, um, where I will totally get rid of JavaScript and such a sample and only use C Sharp and Blazor even for SSO techniques and the usage of graph and calling my backend and so on. Here, SSO still takes place in JavaScript. Here I'm getting my client-side bootstrap token on the client side. And when I hand this over, then in my backend services, I get a token acquisition uh, and with that, I directly also get my graph client uh, one line or two lines below, and then I can start my stuff server side, which is a uh, yeah, simple web API controller uh, consuming dependency injection. Last not least, already announced where to store the files. Of course, you can configure that in an environment variable or something similar, but you can also grab it from the context. What I'm doing here, because you have seen this was a personal Teams app, so no context of a team. I'm using the team site domain variable from the context, which is always my SharePoint root domain. Yeah. So in my case, it was mmuller bmbp sharepoint.com slash nothing. If I'm running a configurable tab against uh, this option, I could also use directly my team site URL, so put it in the team's site collection running below. Yeah? This is another option where I can get directly things to my context, have a SharePoint URL where I can upload things, and of course, I should rely or should be uh, verify or rely on my 
documents library or a special one, depending on my needs. That's all for my explanation. As you know, always some resources. I got a blog post on that uh, sample where I wrote down the uh, yeah the ma major things as well. The sample is available in the uh, in the team's uh, dev samples repository from PMP. And last but not least, the documentation on the mentioned Microsoft Graph endpoint still in beta, but you can also switch to the version one when you see that the format option is only PDF there too. Yeah, that's from my side. Thank you for today. Mm -hmm.